Welcome back everyone, it is Mike from Mana Hoarders. In this video we are bringing you a commander deck tech for a Grixis commander, Obeka, Brute Chronologist. You can cast Obeka for one, a blue, a black, and a red. She is a 3-4 legendary ogre wizard. You can tap her and the player whose turn it is may end the turn. Before we dive into the deck, let's go over a few key points. First up, the final price for this build came in at $75.02. This does include the cost of our commander and all of our lands. Now, do bear in mind, this price will vary greatly depending on the quality of the cards you purchase, the vendor you use, and a variety of other factors. In terms of power level, I'd rate this deck around a 6 out of 10 on the power scale. Obeka has a very cool ability, one that we've never seen on a commander before, so this kind of lends her to a few different options for how we can build this deck. We settled on two particular strategies with this build, the first of which we will call Sneak Attack. Our all-stars for this section are Perforos, Bronze Blooded, Zara, Renegade Recruiter, a new card from Commander Legends, and of course, Sneak Attack. Zara will allow us to steal creatures from our opponent's hands. Perforos and Sneak Attack will allow us to cheat big creatures from our hand out onto the battlefield. Then, before the beginning of the end step, we would normally sacrifice our creatures or return them to our opponents. We can use Obeka to end the turn. And our next section we are calling Recursion. Our two superstars for this section are Felden of the Third Path and Cedrus the Traitor King. Normally, they would allow us to recur creatures from our graveyard and then sacrifice those creatures at the beginning of the next end step. But luckily with Obeka, we can end the turn, thus allowing us to keep those creatures we get back. Now let's go ahead and dive into the remainder of the deck. First up are our artifacts. These first three will help us ramp. Charcoal Diamond, Fire Diamond, and Sky Diamond. Each will enter the battlefield tapped, and each can add a mana of a particular color to our mana pool. Grafted Skullcap, Lightning Coils, and Mimic Vat. The Skullcap will help us draw extra cards, Lightning Coils can help us make 3-1 red elemental creature tokens, and Mimic Vat, whenever a creature dies, we can pay 3 and tap it, and create a token that's a copy of the creature that died. And with an effect very similar to our commanders, we have Sundial of the Infinite. We can pay 1 and tap it to end the turn, we can only activate this ability during our turn. Next up are our enchantments. We have Domestication, Flame Shadow Conjuring, and Molten Echoes. Domestication allows us to take control of our opponent's creatures. Flame Shadow Conjuring and Molten Echoes will do something very similar. Whenever a non-token creature we control enters the battlefield, we can make a token that is a copy of it. Now, normally we'd have to sacrifice these tokens at the beginning of the next end step, but luckily with our commander, we can keep those tokens by simply ending the turn before that happens. Now let's take a look at our creatures. First, we have Dregscape Zombie. Fate Stitcher, it can tap to tap or untap another target permanent. First Sphere Gargantua, whenever it enters we will draw a card and lose a life. Hell's Thunder, it is a 4-4 with flying in haste and at the beginning of the end step we will sacrifice Hell's Thunder. Rotting Rats, whenever it comes into play each player will discard a card. And Sadraxis Spectre, it is flying, whenever it deals combat damage to a player that player will discard a card. Apprentice Necromancer will help us get creatures back from our graveyard to our battlefield. Flame Rush Rider will allow us to make a token that is a copy of another target attacking creature we control. Whenever Identity Thief attacks, we can exile target non-token creature, and Identity Thief will become a copy of that creature until end of turn. Magus of the Wheel, we can pay one in a red, tap him, and sacrifice him so each player will discard their hand and then draw seven cards. Puppeteer Click, it has flying. Whenever it enters, we can put target creature card from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under our control. It'll gain haste, and at the beginning of our next end step, we will exile it. Archwing Dragon is a nice 4-4 with flying in haste. Avaricious Dragon will help us draw extra cards. Avatar of Discord, a nice 5-3 with flying. When it comes into play, we will sack it unless we discard two cards. Blistering Firecat, a 7-1 with trample in haste. Charging Cinderhorn. At the beginning of each player's end step, if no creatures attack this turn, we can put a Fury Counter on Charging Cinderhorn. Then the Cinderhorn will deal damage equal to the number of Fury Counters on it to that player. Dragon Mage, it'll help us wheel, much like Magus of the Wheel, whenever it deals combat damage. Lightning Skelemental, this 6-1 has Trample and Haste. Molten Primordial, whenever it enters, for each opponent we can gain control of up to one target creature that player controls until the end of the turn. We can untap them and they gain haste until end of turn, allowing us to attack with them if we so choose. Stalking Vengeance, whenever another creature we control dies, it deals damage equal to its power to target player. And for 4 mana, we have Varchild's Crusader. For 0, we can make it so it can't be blocked except by walls. For our instance, Abnormal Endurance, whenever the target creature dies, we will get it back to the battlefield. Aetherize, we can return all attacking creatures to their owner's hands. Cauldron Dance, we can only cast it during combat. We can return target creature from our graveyard to the battlefield, and we can put a creature from our hand onto the battlefield. Dark Ritual, for one black mana we can add three black mana. Deliberate, we can scry two and then draw a card. Dispel, we can counter target instant spell. Macabre Mockery, we can get target creature from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under our control. Negate, can counter target non-creature spell. Seething Song, for two and a red we can add five red mana to our mana pool. Supernatural Stamina, much like Abnormal Endurance, whenever the creature dies we'll get it back to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Unnatural Endurance, target creature will get plus two plus zero until end of turn and we can regenerate it. 
And for two blue, we can cast Counterspell to counter target spell. Moving on to our sorceries, Cathartic Reunion, we can discard two to draw three. Crash through, we can give creatures we control trample and then draw a card. Fire Cat Blitz, we can pay X and Red Red to put X11 one, one Red Cat creature tokens with haste into play. Footsteps of the Goryeo, we can return target creature card from our graveyard to play and then sacrifice a creature at the beginning of the next end step. For C, we can scry four and then draw two. A gruesome Encore allows to take a creature from our opponent's graveyard, put it into play under our control. Hate Mirage, we can choose up to two target creatures we don't control. For each of those creatures, we'll get a token that's a copy of that creature. Those creatures gain haste. Ideas Unbound, we can draw three and then discard three at the end of the turn. Mnemonic Betrayal, we can exile all cards from all opponent's graveyards. We can cast those cards this turn and we can spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells at the beginning of the next end step. If any of those cards remain exiled, we will return them to their owner's graveyards, unless, that is, we end the turn. Postmortem Lunge will allow us to return target creature card with converted mana cost X from our graveyard to the battlefield. Psychic Theft, we can look at target player's hand and choose an instant or sorcery card from it and exile it. We can cast that card as though it was in our hand, and then if it is not cast at the end of the turn, we will put it back in the player's hand. But again, with Obeka, we can exile it, making sure they don't have access to this key instant or sorcery. Sign and Blood, we can draw two cards and pay two life. Tormenting Voice, we can discard a card to draw two. And a Twin Flame, we can choose any number of target creatures we control. For each of them, put a token that's a copy of them onto the battlefield. They gain haste. And then we can use Obeka to end the turn to keep those tokens. We will be including two Planeswalkers, Chandra Acolyte of a Flame and Chandra Flame Color. We mostly included these two for their ability to create two elementals of various types, and then we can use Obeka to end the turn to keep them around, but they will both actually have quite a bit of utility we can use to benefit us in this build. And last but not least are our lands. We are going to be keeping it very basic. We are going to run 11 swamps, 11 islands, and 13 basic mountains. And just like that, we have reached the end of another Commander Deck Tech. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and leave a comment down below. Let us know what commanders you would like to see us build around in the future. We really appreciate the support.